What's up guys, Jay on the Segway here. So today's video is gonna be on this bump box retro pager. I'm gonna try to go over this as quickly as possible, but be, but be as detailed as possible. All right, so hit the intro. Sorry, DJ. All right, so hopefully this isn't gonna be too long. I'm try to keep this pretty short and simple. Uh, we got this bump box retro pager, all right? Now, who needs this? People like me, people who are hanging out in a mom's minivan and everybody else got headphones and your headphones suck, so you decide, you know what, I'm gonna use this to give me my audio. Uh, people who go for walks a lot and want music, but they don't probably necessarily want music in their ears, so they are like, you know what, get you a little tiny little speaker. Uh, people who are older than 37 years old, people who are younger may know what these things are, what they used to be, or what this thing resembles, but um, people around my age, I'm 40, people around my age tend to kind of know what these pages are, because we kind of grew up using these when they first came out. You know, this was kind of, we were in our prime when these things came out, so this was like the fashion, you know, not this speaker, but this thing that used to look like this called a, a pager um, basically a pager was something that people would communicate to with a regular dial phone you know you can um, you know if you ever notice on a touchpad on this on the cell phone or, uh, I guess older cell phones how they have the alphabets on like one so the, the number one would have a through C and then two would have D through F and stuff like that you used to be able to type little short messages to a device that looked exactly like this that we used to call a pager and it would show up on a display. See, this side of the of the pager would be an actual display, but on this, something a little different, all right, because this is not a pager, just a speaker. Anyways, um, but yeah, people, you know, there's a nostalgia thing going on with this. So if you guys haven't seen a bunch of videos before my on this, because there's a, quite a bit of videos online about this pager slash speaker pager looking thing. Um, this is pretty much like a four watt. Now, I, online it says four watts but then on, and on the packaging it says eight watts so i'm guessing maybe it's four watts continuous and might peak at eight watts i don't know but it's it's kind of loud don't expect a whole lot of sound for this from this okay this is more of a nostalgia uh cool hat you know cool to have kind of thing more than a performance item okay it's okay all right just don't expect it to you know make wonders and and, and take you across the world you know on a magic carpet it's not gonna do that it is ipx6 which is water resistant which means uh oh i'm like using this in the rain and you know i'm using this and it starts raining this will be able to handle a, a, a downpour or something like that basically ipx6 is low pressure water sustained up to 30 minutes or something like that there's like little things with that stuff but so it's pretty decent you can sweat and have this around you while sweaty if it's like drizzling or something like that maybe a light rain shower you know as long as you're not moving this thing and dropping this in water you should be fine um seven hours i think it's a seven hour approximate runtime like that's probably continuous music playing at a certain volume maybe 50 percent volume or higher you'll get about seven hours out of this and uh seven day standby time this thing has USB and auxiliary as far as input goes, manual inputs, you guys can see that there. Um, the auxiliary is basically gonna be for the supplied TRS cable. You also have a mini USB charging cable that comes with this. So, <clears throat> oh, did I mention that there was a micro SD card input? Totally missed that one. If you guys look once more, you can see the mini SD card slot. That, speaking of FD car slot, can hold up to 32 gigabytes, only up to 32 gigabytes. If you guys try to put a 64 or 128 or 256, she is going to read um, excess music is what she'll say, right? Um, you guys wanna test this out? I have three memory cards here. We got a 32, we got a 64, and we got a 128. The 32, we're gonna go in and put it in. By the way, let me turn it on real quick, which is the power button. You just kind of hold it down. Oh, I was wrong button. You guys, remember, you guys remember that sound? You older folks who remember these things? That's the old pager sound. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna put this 32 in here and see what happens. Make sure you're putting this in. You, can, you almost can't put this in the wrong way because it will just won't feel Music. right. FM tender. 
here. Um, let's go back to that 64 gigabyte memory card. And you guys can see 64. I don't know if you can really see it. 64 gigs. Let's go. I keep putting this in the wrong way. Music. FM Tinder. Sorry about all that noise. So basically what happens is when you see the 64 gigabyte, she said music, and then she went straight to the radio. She won't read the 64 gigabyte memory card. It's just anything and anything larger than that, as you can imagine, is gonna be the same results. I do not know if it actually, you can put like Apple Music, um, like I don't know the format that this thing reads. I don't know if it's gonna read the AAC. I think that's what Apple uses, but um, MP3s, 100%, it'll read every three uh, file folders and play it on just speaker here. And you have manual controls, of course. If you long press plus and negative, that's how you fast forward and rewind. The, the power button is gonna be your pause when you're listening to music. Same thing with phone calls. If someone's calling you, you press the, the power button, you just press it and it'll pick up the call. If you wanna reject the phone call, you will long press the power button, like hold it for like two or three seconds and it'll reject the call. If you're currently on a phone call using this guy, if you're currently on a phone call and someone else calls you, if you want to connect to that person instead, you will long press the, um, no, you double tap the power button real quick and then it'll, it'll put you on with the other person. You cannot connect a three-way with this. It's gonna be one person on the phone or the other. The M button, if you hold it down, long press the M button, it'll switch between modes. So you got the auxiliary mode. So like if you wanted to plug this in directly with the, with this is supply, they give you this TRS cable, okay? If you have an iPod that's old enough or a cell phone that's old enough or any kind of MP3 player that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, you will be able to plug it in with this and then doop, smack it straight into the speaker and bam, you got the uh, your speaker going. Now I tried to connect this speaker, like let's just say you have a MP, let's say you have a mini SD card inside of here with music and you're listening to music straight up independently with this, no Bluetooth or anything. But then you wanna put headphones on and just you, instead of having this playing your music out loud, you wanna use this as kind of like an MP3 player. So you'll directly plug with the 3.5 millimeter jack, a cable in, from into this, into your headphones and listen to music, it doesn't work. I tried it already, sorry guys. Um, so it's all or nothing. You can also pair this with another bump box speaker, whether it be a large one or the same size retro pager. Um, to do that, you have to hold down, um, <clears throat> you have to press the M button twice real fast. And then it's gonna say T something. TWS mode. Okay, and that's, and so now, when you double tap the M, right, you cannot be connected to any device via Bluetooth because this is gonna work on the same function. You have to be on Bluetooth mode in order for this thing to go into that pairing mode so that you can actually connect it to another speaker. And you will do the same thing with that other speaker. It has to be a bump box. So different bump box speakers will have different methods of getting into that mode. So you have to do that with that other speaker and then do this double tap with the M with this speaker. Remember, this has to be in Bluetooth mode and it cannot be connected to any Bluetooth devices. If, it is, if this is connected to any Bluetooth devices and you press that M you press the M button twice real fast it is going to activate whatever voice program you use on your phone or your, your iPod for example let me see this iPod is connected to it right now okay I'm gonna double tap that M real quick see what happens on the phone on the iPod you see that Siri not available so you, you have to be in Bluetooth mode, but you cannot be currently Bluetooth to a device in order for this to connect with another bump box Bluetooth speaker. All right. Okay. So now before I forget, this thing does have an LED, um, LED light. There's a button on the side here that says light. You press it. Another downfall, I would say, and it's not really a downfall. I wouldn't call it a, a, a con, but I'm going to give it a con. I'm going to name it as a con. Is a battery life, seven hour battery life, and that's seven hours maximum. I'm pretty sure if you're listening to dialogue with this and not just straight straight up music, maybe YouTube videos, that's not constantly making this make noise, you might get a little more than seven hours out of it. I haven't tried it yet, but battery life the advertised battery life it could be better i mean this thing is like you know nah, whatever all right we'll get into the pros okay the pros bro let's get into the pros some of the pros portability 
portability. Very portable. I like that. Uh, it's practical. Why, why is it practical? Well, it comes with this little lanyard. Okay, this lanyard, it didn't come with this specific red one. It comes with a black one. I just happen to have a red one laying around. I thought it was perfect, but it do come with a lanyard, so you can kind of wrap it around your wrist. Shit, barely. Oh, man, I just broke my dang lanyard. Anyways, you can wrap it around your wrist if it's small enough. Um, you can wrap it around your handlebars on your bicycle if you're going to be riding your bicycle and want to use this to listen to music, which you can. I've tested this on my electric scooter up to about 20, 22 miles an hour. It was okay, but anything over that, you're just not going to hear. It's going to be too much wind noise versus the power that this thing can put out to give you the type of sound that you need to hear. You want to hear this clearly and it'd be useful, worth taking. Um, the mini SD card, I love that feature, that flexibility also with the, the, the 3.5 millimeter jack. You know, that's pretty dope. You can charge this while you're using it. That's another cool little thing. That's another pro. Um, the simple controls. The controls are very easy and simple to use. You know, I can't complain about that. I like the character. This thing just has a little character to it. It's not just some plain little speaker. You know, this thing looks like a pager. They decided to take a small speaker and make a pager, you know, make it look like a pager. I kind of like that, you know. If you're going to have a small little speaker, at least it has some type of style and character to it. And that's what this thing has. So I like that. As a, I'm going to put that down as a pro. I do like the, the, the voice assistant. So if you just press the M button one time. And it says, hey, Siri. Or, hey, Bixby. Depending on what device you're using. Depending on who your voice assistant is on your phone or your tablet. If, you're, if your device that you have Bluetooth, remember you have to be Bluetooth to the speaker in order to activate that feature. And basically the microphone and the speaker is going to take place of your phone as long as it's within Bluetooth range of the speaker. The, another pro is that you can have this and, and use it to make phone calls or to carry on a phone conversation. I wouldn't do it in a windy, con uh, a windy situation and I damn sure wouldn't do this on a bike ride. So... Um, this microphone is a little too sensitive. How sensitive? Watch the video. Here we got the audio test for the phone calls. About to call Wade. I'm gonna keep the speaker pointed away. Yo, yo, what's good? Yo, chilling, what's up, what's up? How do I sound? Like shit. Do I? All right, there you go. I could, I mean, I got to, I got to turn. Did you hear that? Hear what? You're trying to make an echo. <laughs> no, I didn't. So you sound like, you sound like you're driving to Bergman going 60 on a highway. Damn, how about right now? Perfect. Ah, okay. Appreciate that, man. Good looking out. Yeah, now, I, I just, I just heard something else. Hold on, keep talking? Okay, yeah, what's going on? What you doing right now? All right, so that's clear. Are, are you moving? No, I'm like standing fast? I'm standing completely still. All right, so when you first started the conversation, were you moving? Yes, I was. All right, start moving. All right, we're riding. Right. Talking. We're riding right now. Yeah, yeah, you, you pick up all the wind. Okay, that's what's up. I was thinking it would. It said it's a sensitive... Um, Says it's got a really sensitive microphone, and I yeah. figure it might be too sensitive for riding. If someone wants to ride or go for a walk, if it's windy, they're going to need to have the microphone pointed away from the wind or something like that. Otherwise, it'll pick it up. Correct. Okay. Sounds good. All right, man. I appreciate right, it. Wait. Bye. One. All right. You guys heard it. It's uh, useless if you want to use this for riding. If you, if you guys are riding a scooter or if you're walking and it's windy while you're walking, this ain't going to be your best friend for phone calls, all right? It may get you by. You may be able to um, keep this microphone. Remember I told you guys the microphone is right here. If you point it away from the wind and even still, it's so exposed, as you guys can see. There are things around that, right? But I don't know exactly if it's going to work. But if you guys are going to use this for phone calls while you're using it out riding or whatever, this is probably not going to be a good thing to have or to use. You might want to have something more dedicated for... Uh, phone calls in harsh conditions, so to speak. If you're somewhere indoors, if you're somewhere in a car, if you're like in your parents' minivan and one of your friends call you, you can probably use it. Just know everybody's gonna hear your phone call. Maybe it's better if you put the phone up to your ears at that point. But if you're just riding around bicycle, scooters, and someone calls you, 
you probably want to stop before you pick this thing up or I ain't going to hear anything. He said it sounds like crap the whole time. So keep that in mind. And um, well, hell, let me see. Maybe I can get some music going. Sounds okay up there. Let's clip it onto my pants. Power off. Oh shit. There we go. Bluetooth yeah, It's okay. Volume's all the way up, by the way. <laughs> All right, we're going to end uh we're going to end the the outdoor test right here. All right, so now you guys got to hear how it sounds on a scooter. I called my boy Wade as you guys heard in the video and you heard what he said about it while I was riding like what 7 8 miles an hour. So I tried to keep this, the microphone pointed away from the direction I the wind was coming in at me, but it doesn't matter. It's a very sensitive microphone. If you're in a quiet environment, this is going to be perfect, all right, for your phone calls. Not an issue. Um, but, yeah, other than that, you know. All right, now, to conclude the video, I have a few question and answer questions. Uh, uh, it's like a Q&A kind of thing. So one of the questions were... Um, can you link two of these together? Of course you can. It could be the same speaker or the same brand speaker, but you can link two of them together, but only two. Another question is, um, does it have auto off? Now, apparently, according to the, the manual, according to, according to the, the book, the booklet that it comes with, after five minutes of inactivity, this should be able, this should turn off. And this is inactivity, period. You know, whether it be connecting from the mini SD card to auxiliary or to Bluetooth. If this thing's sitting here and it's not doing anything, there's no audio going to it. You're not, you know, doing anything with it. After five minutes, it should turn off. Um, another question is, is there a warranty? Does this can come with a warranty? Yes, one year warranty. So you get a one year warranty with this, with Bump Box. I would imagine their warranty program is really well, is really good because a lot of people seem to have this brand of speaker. They make really good speakers. Um, very loud and just high quality, charismatic speakers. Another question is, how do you change the language? I don't know if you can, to be honest. I tried it. One, you know, there was a thing that said if you press the mode button twice real fast, the M button, it'll change languages. I've tried it in all the modes and it didn't do anything. So, uh, can you use this to play music with your headphones? We went over that. No. Can I change it and use it? at the same charge it and use it at the same time and yes you can you absolutely can that makes this speaker very cool you can have a small little battery pack while you're listening to your music if you're having um you know battery length battery life anxiety or something like that then this will work so that's going to be all for today guys i'm done with the speaker i don't know if i'm going to use this very much i have the bose headset let me show you guys that real quick if you guys want to see the video on that, let me know. All right, you got controls on the on the sides here. You know, I think this is more useful for my applications. Okay, I say that because you put it around your neck, it makes a bubble. We won't get into that. If you guys want to see a video on this, me going over this thing right here, uh, let me know and uh, in the comments below. Otherwise, like and subscribe if you like the video. Okay. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.